in the ambulance at 6.30 the evening. On the 111 number, not 999. They turn up an hour later, they look at my son, they put oxygen on and say, have you got a bag packed? I oh, never expected to see my son with the oxygen mask on, let alone. We pack a bag, we get rushed to within short hospital. Anyway, they had given him oxygen, he was looking as though he was doing really well. Me and my wife, we hadn't it all day. I says to my wife, I'll go get some food because he's looking really good. I go back to the hospital half an hour later, they've moved Harris to another room, and there's three, four doctors there, and the main doctor, Kate Bowden, is like, I phoned this person, anaesthetist to come in, I phoned this person to come in. So I'm thinking, what's going on here? You know, something's really wrong. And then something happened. Don't know what happened, but she just pressed crash on her button, and there was just a whole amount of sheer panic. What happened was Harris's respiratory system had collapsed. They had to intubate him so quickly to keep him alive. And he's, when you suffer from this SMA, apparently you have a difficult airway to intubate. There's different grades. Harris had a grade four airway. It was very difficult to intubate him. Hence, they got all the medical staff in at Withenshaw. Thursday, I went to hospital really happy thinking, you know, my son's coming off the tube today, he's gonna come back home. They stopped his feed in the morning, four o'clock, because you've got to stop their feed for six hours prior to extubate them. Stopped his feed as well. So, you know, now he's just got to be extubated. And then they come to me at 10 o'clock and said, oh, we need to talk to you and to your wife. We go into a room and we meet up with some neurologists. And they say, we were going to extubate Harris today, but we're running some genetic tests on him. And because he's got this grade four airway, if he needs further treatment, there's no point extubating him today to intubate him again in a week's time when we get the results back. It wouldn't be right and it wouldn't be fair and it could be quite difficult. And I'd already thought, told you from the crash experience that I thought I'd lost my Harris anyway. So in the week that I'm waiting for these results, I've been talking to the nurses saying I can accept any result tomorrow because I already thought I lost Harris and I've got Harris. So whatever it is tomorrow that Harris has got, it's nothing because I thought my son was already gone. And they start saying to me in this meeting, your son has something called spinal muscular atrophy. So if I think spine, muscles, spinal muscular, it's a spine, his muscles are weak. Makes sense because he's not holding his head. And then they start saying, I'm so, so sorry, but there's absolutely no treatment. And your son has three months to live. And then they make it worse. There was a treatment. It's available in Scotland, Shaquille, but it's not available in England. It's the initial have stopped it. Only a hundred people, a hundred babies a year, maximum need that treatment. And we are losing 100 babies a year because we, as a country, don't think it's justified to save them. And this treatment that was available, it was called an early access programme. It was available until November. It was only available for SMA type 1. Mm -hmm. Exactly what Harris has, not for the mm -hmm. other types that Harris has. And I spoke to my because they were in Maidenhead, I'm from Slough originally, that's when I'm born and brought up. Maidenhead's 15 minutes away, I studied in Maidenhead. Mm. And I said to Bajan that on March the 6th, when we are protesting here in Manchester, all of my family and friends from Slough will be outside your offices at the same time, because you are bartering with my son's life. Mm. And the only consolation they can give me is, on March the 6th, if the treatment is improved, we've got bridging support in place, we won't wait for the funds to reach us it will be available straight away, the Early Access Programme again. Mm. The people that we need the help from is the NHS. Mm. We need them to get this drug back on the NHS and help us. That's the real important help we need. March the 6th in Manchester, Piccadilly, is going to be such a big day for SMA suffering families because if this drug is, improved, it is not approved, and we're confident it will be, if it isn't, God only knows what we're going to do for Harris.